at Goodwill. We oh. drove, how far is this one? It's only about 40 minutes, not horrible. So not as far as the last one, but that's about typical yeah, for our average. travels to Goodwill. So their parking lot is pretty empty. So we're gonna go in there and see if we can find anything. That's gonna make us what? A million dollars. A million dollars. Stay tuned. Let's go. We're going in. Cover me. I'm covering you. Going in, cover me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Trying to sweep. Holy smoke. I have no idea. I'm just sweeping. All right, so I'm spotting this it's Luxor, Las Vegas or something. It says Thailand, it's $1.99. It's a vintage bank from Vegas. No, those look like candle holders. But I think I'm going to put this in the cart to look this one up. That's pretty cool. And see if this is willow wear. Why is it sticky? Oh, let's see. It has to have a bridge, birds, and a willow tree. And I don't see any of it. So not willow wear. Hey, that's still here. Imagine that. What else do we have? Oh, there was this Norman Rockwell, Rockwell tray. And they're pretty cool, that's Santa. But unfortunately, it's kind of like Coca-Cola. There's so much of it that, you know, it's not a very uh, wanted thing. Not that, not not wanted, what's the word? Like, it's not as coveted, I guess, because it's not something that's really hard to find. Is that, does that make sense? All the vegetables are still here. What is this? Oh, there's a little bobby head turtles. Those are cute. I'll put those in my cart. What else do we have? Oh, that looks shiny. That's pretty. It's iridescent. I wonder who makes that. Hmm. Great pattern isn't very popular. But um, I think I might look that up to see who makes that. What else do we have over here? Oh, that's cute, a little rooster teapot. Do you see that? I'm trying not to film the lady in the background. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can find. So these are some hand-painted ceramic native people. What does it say? provincial molds so I think I'm going to look those up because those are really well done I don't see a mold mark for her but I'm going to look those up all right so I just spotted this Austin it's signed Austin sculptures oh it's broken it's $12.99 but uh they sell for about 50 online. If it wasn't um, $12.99, I would buy it, even with the chip, but uh, not with the chip. Oh, that matches my girl that I got. Oh my gosh, that I got here the other day. We won't be getting that one. This looks like a kitty lantern. That's neat. It is interesting. It's made to look old, but that'd be cool. Halloween display. Yeah, Doesn't have a price tag. No. Of course. No price tag. Here's a little vintage. It's made by Russ. And it's got a troll on it. Oh my gosh. Aaron just interrupted me. Seven cats. He's the Seven cat lady. Cats. You're the crazy cat lady. What the heck is it? Well, maybe do you stick it under the door or is it one of those long couch pillows but anyways has a troll on it I'm not gonna grab it but I just wanted to share that with you guys I got to follow around this comedian 
You know what I always look for you? I look for a sloth for you. Oh my gosh, it's a cat of corn. Good luck finding a sloth. There's a... I don't know what the heck that is. A zebra bunny. So what would a zebra bunny be in Alexander language? Uh... Uh, a zebra bunny. Let's see. Zunny? <laughs> I don't know. Zunny? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if any of these things are worth any money. Oh, I haven't stopped to look, but this is the toy aisle here at the store. Well, what do we have down here? Oh, it's pressed glass. It looks like it goes to a punch bowl set, but that's pretty neat. And then we have some wooden corn holders. Didn't you want these all your life? I did. Wooden corn holders? I mean, come on. We have to have wooden corn holders. It's kind of like that thing we got the other day, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's pretty. It's a little... thing we got from Diane, I think? Yeah. It's missing some of its paint though. Here, let me. I think, let me look. Is it? I can't, yeah, it is. That's neat though. Aaron found a little vintage Halloween snow globe. Make your dream come true. And usually I don't buy these because they lose a lot of water. But that one looks okay. Ornaments for Collector Series. Hmm. I think I'll put in the cart and we'll maybe consider this guy. I found this thing. Brass and enamel. I like that. It reminds me of the stuff that um, Pamela likes. It does. Look at all those goodies back there. Bring them out, Goodwill. Bring them out. So while we were waiting, this was hanging on. And right there, I lose audio. For the rest of the video, every single clip that I recorded in the store has absolutely no audio until I get in the car and I don't have my microphone on anymore. I don't think the universe... <laughs> wants this to work out but anyways i was showing you guys that hanging on the wall i found that rug beater and then we're also telling you about this new in the box um glacier bay like bathroom faucet that we found and aaron was looking it up to see how much they resell for and they resell for about i think it was fifty dollars um and he was looking at it for us to see if we could use it but we don't really have any gold fixtures in the house. So that's kind of what we were talking about in, in this clip. gazillion degrees outside and we're gonna go get some lunch we were gonna go down the street to another Goodwill but the last two or three times we've been there we've been in and out so it makes me want to wait like five years to go there again but I have a question from you for you sent from my mom and she wants to know that if you could know the history of every object you touch Wait, no, how is that worded? No, okay, no, it's would you rather. Here we go. Would you rather know the history of every object you touched or to be able to talk to animals? So you guys, make sure you leave that in the comments down below. He already answered the question. What would you rather do? Be able to talk to my cats. <laughs> my 
find out what the hell they're crying about. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be some interesting stuff to wake up in the middle of the night and he's having a conversation with Butts. Yep. Butters would be asking him like the facts of life. <laughs> Dad, tell me about the birds and the bees. Oh boy. <laughs> All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, not every trip, not every place that you go are you gonna find like amazing things and it happens. So don't be discouraged, get out there, go hunt for your treasure, go find your million dollars and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye everyone.